Federal lawmakers in the lower chamber are calling on the federal government to declare a state of emergency on drug abuse in the country. This followed a motion of urgent national importance by Honorable Henry Nwaubwa from the plenary, which called for urgent action to be taken to arrest the ugly development among youths and adults as well. These addictive drugs come by different names, tramadol, codeine syrup, lacatomtom, and so on. And, but in the end, they pointed out that according to many, it is a drug abuse fast destroying the future of the country. Honorable Henry Nwoba brought the motion under matter of urgent national importance to the floor of the plenary, warning against the dire consequences if government failed to act in full force. Concerned that as a stimulant, it has a powerful euphoric effect similar to those of cocaine. Meth typically keeps users awake, depriving them of sleep, making them react violently and takes a toll on the physical look of its users. The House resolves to mandate the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency to reintegrate and strategize further on its enforcement and enlightenment capacity to cover the mode and cure for this meth addiction, which has no medical treatment at the moment. Anything that has the capacity to alter the human con constitution, to alter how a man is constituted, Mr. Speaker, is dangerous. Crystal med is not only ad addictive, it makes you hallucinate, it puts you under influence, which could be subjected to any use, including the beheading of people. As, he, uh, as he, he said. And what we should be talking about is who are the manufacturers? Mr. Speaker, honorable members, this Nkurumiri is called Nkurumiri in the Southeast. It's actually met. Um, it does sound like a joke, but it's not a joke. It's actually very serious. Um, it's actually killing a lot of people. And I, when, I, when I went home, I told them, in like five, ten years' time, if we don't stop it, we're going to have a zombie society, Mr. Speaker. Because in, at least in my constituency, you will find 11, 12-year-olds taking this met. I mean, so really, what kind of future are we expecting these young ones to have? So we're definitely going to have doped-up society, zombie society. That's not good for us. So we must really take this thing very seriously. And One of the major problems I want to draw the attention of this hallowed chamber to is the ease with which this mess is produced. Unlike uh, uh, tramadol and cocaine that have to be imported because they are not usually you know, produced in Nigeria, methamphetamine, amphetamine can be produced from this common cold drugs that are over the counter. Drugs for Qatar and for cough. And they can be, it can be made from crude laboratories in homes and in communities. So that's what makes it very easy to access and also quite cheap. And with this rate, if we are not able to really stem the tide of the abuse of this very dangerous drug, and Pimex, our youth population, which are in their tens of millions, will have a bigger disaster in our hands. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.